So I came to the shop, cut up with everything, shipped stuff out. Now it's like 4.30. And uh, basically, I wanted to use all the gas because it was really low. Um, and just I was able to just kind of finish up all the weldings on that side. That side, and tomorrow or like probably within this week, I want to finish all the welding and just kind of set up everything before we actually start cleaning up and pull this engine out and paint the engine bay. I had to order some of the stuff for the engine. So that's gonna be also in the order, so we gotta wait. So my plan for today is I'm just gonna stop here and finally work on the Sparco seat that's been sitting here for like more than a year. Initially, we're gonna use that for the 380SX uh, but I'm just gonna use this one. What I didn't buy is the um, ba base rail for the seat to go and I'm just gonna custom make it so that um, I could adjust the height and it's just gonna be permanent for my my height. You know, this is one of the stuff that I gotta do anyway. And I've been meaning to do it because if you watch some of the videos in the past, I'm just literally all over the place with uh, stock seat. And I could even reach the clutch pedal when my my body was actually facing that way due to the uh, g-force um, going sideways I try to like clutch kick and couldn't even reach. So definitely I need something that's gonna hold me down and that's just been sitting here. So it's one of the like cheap Sparkle seats, but still in good quality. Not something cheap uh, eBay stuff that will just set on fire. So I think it's still Nomax. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this metal, kind of bend it where it should be bending off of. So I'm gonna actually bend it here, bend it all the way down here so it'll grab. But before I do anything, I wanna clean up here and also put the uh, side rails, um, side supports on this one. So yeah, so this is actually good till 2020. So I got two years, I guess. So that, that's valid. So these are the seat rails or side supports. Uh, I'm just getting confused, but um, also bought extra so th these are brand new and you notice that it has a bunch of holes that you could adjust height and so you could literally like tilt the uh, the seat the way you want it and the worst case you get fat or you lose weight whatever you could adjust it you get taller I don't know I don't think that's the case for me but yeah so I just put the back back on here so it doesn't get really dirty because my hands are already dirty just touching that stuff but um, this position is actually almost perfect. But as you can see, it's actually looking pretty good. I don't want to look like a, a midget in there either. So as long as the whole purpose is to have the, uh, the steering where I want it and my, uh, my foot for clutch pedal and gas pedal reaches like the way I want it pretty much. So I intentionally put the sitting position really high Cause I know just scoops just in general like you you'll be like like down there and you won't have a lot of visibility um, so I might just bring this down to um, up here this is one of the bars I got this is like 36 a little bit more than 36 inches from Home Depot uh, really nice and thick material right here I just didn't want to waste it. I could have gone a little bit further out on each side, but um, I just didn't want to use more materials. So this was like a little bit more than 18 inches. So basically this will cover both holes. If it's nice and sturdy, <clears throat> I had to bend a little bit at the top just to get this um, angle out. Um, I just have to do one more here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna put one bar over here that has extra support on the bottom instead of just having have this thing just hanging over here but now that um i don't have the mig while they're working i don't feel like actually bringing all the tick stuff over here and i'm gonna i i'm actually low on gas as well 
but I'm just gonna use that time to work on the inner cooler as well. So uh, what I want to do is cap this off. I have some like materials in um, in the back that will actually fill up nicely, and uh, also drill a hole for the inner cooler pipe. Only thing is I don't have the two and a half materials here, so I just gotta find one that's this is actually the older one, but it'll probably work for now. Yeah, see I want to get rid of this thing that's all banged up. Cause so I had to bang it up last time to fit up with um radiator when we didn't have one. So I need a <clears throat> angle that's a little bit shorter than this. But they'll be basically facing upward, like inward like that. Alright, so I made some mess. Sorry Jake if you're watching. I'll at least put away some tools. So I was able to make a hole pretty much the same size from here and I'm gonna be using one of these to cap this off clean like this way. Uh, so it'll be nice and clean. And that's about it. So this process kind of takes long because it's actually thick um, aluminum material and I gotta clean this up like really nicely before I kept this off so I'm doing this I just put a pilot hole Let's just punch this uh, right here this is where I wanna want my pilot hole to go unfortunately I don't have like a bench or anything to work on right now and I gotta be gentle because if this one goes in and just breaks the core, goes into the core, I'm done. Yeah, someone's gotta say you could tape it up and everything. Yeah, I know the method. But I could definitely handle it. So, thanks for your advice. There we go. To get everything. Can't wait to dry. Oh. Oh. In order to properly mount the seat, you need a cage. So <clears throat> I have something to show you. Yeah, so here's the uh, Cusco roll cage. Uh, it's nice, probably it's powder coated. It's nice and everything, but this is just not my cup of tea and also it's not gonna actually match with the theme that we are going with the car. So yeah, this is what's going in there. I might uh, brace it extra since uh, this is just bolt on cage. You know, this is not really what I'm looking for to drill the hole and do the um, floor and bolt it down from the bottom. I, I don't, I don't, I really don't like the way it's being installed but couldn't pass the deal and uh got this like maybe two months ago just been sitting here oh yeah while well, i'm here so here's a, a grave of some stock parts that we don't use but and now that we're here let me show you how shitty the old front end was still have that um hood latch attached but yeah see what i'm talking about this this I, I never liked it and i was just trying to make it to the event uh without having the front end i wasn't sure if i could make i could pass a tech and whatnot so i just quickly made this uh up oh do the job just fine i could probably make another front end with this and i can mount the headlights and everything but you know the the current setup is way way better that's why i want to show you all right. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be staying too much. Uh, I was in there. I don't feel like like getting dirty today, either. So, waiting on the uh, the customers to get back to you on the engine. Uh, I think he found himself one. Uh, just getting a deal and talking to the uh, the seller. Uh, but once we get that, 
uh, we get the confirmation that we're gonna just start, you know, pulling out the engine. You could tell I sound horrible and everything, so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna push it more, but uh, take some snaps for Graham, you know. And go home. Yeah, guys, uh, sorry there wasn't much today. I might not even upload this one today, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.